right, what do you want to tell me about this? Uh, well, I say, uh, first of all, the last six days ago, now all the witnesses on the case are trying to it's texting me and trying to become my friend on Facebook, and I took screenshots and everything of that. Okay. Which I don't know why. I don't talk to them. Um, are they changing their stories? I didn't. I don't talk to them. I didn't talk to them when I lived there for eight years. And who are you talking about specifically? Lori Smith and uh, Samantha Jean Watts. The witnesses, okay. supposedly witnesses. The one was because she was videotaping, and then she told the, the cop that she never was not. She wasn't videotaping. I know she was. Um, I almost died. I tried to send you the file on that, where all the, the trauma doctor said that. I would have passed away if I'd had any damage more done to my head. If I fall on my head, I could still die. I've never had seizures before in my life. Now I'm having seizures and I'm having post-traumatic stress disorder psychosis. I already gave that paper to her. I'm seeing things and hearing things all the time. They, uh, with the ear, bones broken that ear, it's popping all the time and I can't hear right. I'm very emotional now and, and I'm not like I used to be. Before this happened, less than an hour before that, the cops were even there because they said that I, Tara told them that I was texting her mom saying and I was going and had a gun and stuff. I sent that paper to you if you looked at the date and time. That's not true. That's not true. It wasn't me and he put on the paper. That wasn't me. I got the paper with me on the police report. You have charges. What? Um, Much. I don't have charges. I have charges. Did. Yeah. Um, were they, what were, what was the date that that? happened. February charged. 7th. Everything started December when she, when she uh, December then, 7th is when your charges no, no, no. from? February 7th. But December the 7th is the first time in eight years we've ever even had to call the cops because I called the cops because Sarah Poland had hit me for domestic abuse and he wanted he asked me if I wanted to file charges and I told him no and I got that with oh, me. Help. Yeah. Yeah. Just and I got that with me too. So you got that because then here's um, here's what he's what he was sentenced to and where he's doing diversion and um, yeah, you get their narrative out. Okay. Thank you. Uh-huh, sure. So this was about a month later. Yep. Yeah. Okay, and this was because uh, the report said you were throwing things into the residence. You thought she had someone paid to kill you. And then I almost died a month later. I could have beat that. I, I could have beat that charge anyway, but the phone number, which is, if you look at this one, I know you got it with you, but I got it too. If you look at the date time, this is a fake report on that too. And this was a, a less than an hour before I almost, they almost killed me. That 5025 number, phone number that's 13, she knew it. She knows what her phone number is on. And I decided the dates and times and what time he got there. And when I was playing game, when, they, when the cops showed up, I was playing the game, which is a gaming headset. When you're playing Xbox, you can't hear nothing else except the game because it noise cancels everything. You can hear a gunshot. No joke. It's like a Bose. So your charge stems from you allegedly texting Tara saying that mm -hmm. she better get her shit out because I'm getting ready to burn it. That was not her. That was my renter. And she said I did it to her mom. Oh, so you texted the mother is what the allegation mm -hmm. is. And, saying. I, and that proves I didn't. I could have beat the case, but that bullshit. Get your was... shit out because I'm getting ready to burn it. All she's only got fucking maybe 12 hours left or less. And then you left a handwritten note on Francis's door telling her to get out. I didn't leave it on Francis's door. It was at, I left it at the garage, which is where my renter has been my renter for five years paying me. Is Francis your rent renter? No, Sherry Bryant. So why See? were you threatening to burn Francis's trailer it. down? I didn't. Who did? That phone number right there. The 
5025 number. My number is not 5025. It was 0013. And now that's changed. See, it shows you right here. I didn't need the cop said he did not. I showed him the phone bill on my phone. I showed him the whole phone bill. And it's on camera too. Or his body cam. Well, when you were talking to the deputy, you didn't deny the text. You said you used Google Talk and... Well, I didn't, know what, I didn't know what he was talking about on the text. He never told me what text it was, and that's on camera, too. You can, add, you can look at the video. Anyway, that, that's the version. That's already taken care of anyway. Well, I understand, but you pled to this. Yeah, because I didn't want her son in trouble. Her son or her would have gotten in trouble. I don't want them in trouble. That's why I pled. Okay. So, fast forward a month. <clears throat> mm -hmm. The problem that I have, because I've, I've looked at all the stuff, and I've looked at the videos and all that other stuff. There's obviously, I at least, I don't have possession of any video of the event actually happening. I just have the body cam video of what everyone said happened. Obviously, I have statements from people who, who were there. Um, and there are several witnesses that say that you approach them no. in a menacing fashion and walked right up to him and he popped you because you were on his property or Lori's property or whoever's property he was on. And because of this report, right or wrong, I'm not saying that you did have a gun ever, but they were aware and it goes, the, the law is going to look at what somebody in Jeremy Watts's position would have done, what a reasonable person would have done in his position. And he believed, based on, again, I'm not saying you had a gun ever, but he has had been advised that you were carrying a weapon. And you're approaching him. So Tara Pola tried to get me killed. That's what it was. So on that paper where I sat there and said that she had paid, because I was getting texts that somebody paid, paid she paid someone out of stim, her stimulus money to start somebody to kill me. A month later, I almost asked another word, you can't do nothing. Well... I that's probably where we're headed with this because I have to be able to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Jeremy Watts knowingly caused or attempted to cause physical harm to you. I think I can do that, but the problem is, is then he's going to have an argument for self-defense because this happened, again, according to at least three witnesses on their property, not your property, that you approached them. They weren't approaching you. You came onto their property. Um, they believed you had a gun. At least two people, because I'm not sure Lori saw this part, but the but um, Jeremy and, and his wife say that you... Not his wife. Girlfriend, whatever she is. The female that was with him. Jeremy's uh, ex-wife has been t contacting me on Facebook, too, about how he stole $6,000 from her and her kid. She called the cops. The cops wouldn't do nothing to him then. So what is he? Is he a CPA, a confidential paid informant, or an informant? Because everybody knows he's a known meth and heroin user. Well, I don't know that. I don't know Jeremy Watts from Adam, so I don't I don't know. And I don't know anything about money and his ex-wife. I just know about what I have in front of me, which is the incident that happened between you and he. But I have three witnesses that say you came onto their property. I have three witnesses that say that Tara had informed them that you were not stable, that you were dangerous, and that you had a gun. So they all believe that, right or wrong. Again, that doesn't matter. What matters is that a reasonable person in their position believed you had a gun and you were coming at him in a menacing fashion, reaching, apparently, two people say you were reaching behind you like you were getting ready to pull a gun out of he your... Was on, he was on the property I was living on. If I had a gun, he went on my property, I would have put a gun in his face if I had a gun. I had never owned a gun in the state of Ohio. Well, I, I don't know that. I'm just telling you what they say happened is that you came at them. So I guess next thing, then, let's take care of the court. She's going to cause all this. Say that again. The Paris one did that. She caused all the menacing stuff, which is not true. Which is not true. It can be proved it's not true. Let's take her to court. Then let fuck Jeremy. Then let them get away with it. Let's take her to court. Well, what am I supposed to charge her with? Menacing. It's what you just said. But she didn't. When did she threaten you? She she tried to get me killed by lying, saying that I had a gun. If that is what you're telling me. Well, that's a. I don't know that I can make that kind of a leap. Just because I tell somebody that, hey, be careful, Mr. Grant has a gun, that doesn't mean that doesn't mean I'm I'm guilty of menacing. That's not even though on a report that, that I that I was getting texts and everything, which is documented, 
that where she paid someone to try to kill me and then a month later I almost died. That's a different investigation and I don't have any evidence of that. Um, if you have evidence that if you have this witness that's going to say that's a big deal you should definitely take that to the sheriff's office. They'll they have people they have their, that's what they do. I prosecute sheriff's office investigates. So if you have evidence that would show that she has paid somebody to have you killed, then you definitely need to take that to the sheriff's office. Well, That's I don't even know if it texts as evidence, okay, but I guess it is. They're putting people in jail for it every day, even if they didn't text. Credit card? It, it's a, text messaging is... A slippery slope. It is, because I'm not text savvy by any means, but I know that there are apps out there where I download this app and I can text you and make it look like it came from Tara or something. Right, but if I look at your phone bill, it shows it comes from you, your phone. I think that's correct. If you do a little bit more digging, which, you know, again, I don't have the resources to do that. I prosecute, I don't investigate. But the Sheriff's Office can get records to show if those things actually happen. They can figure out who these people are. You know, they have those resources. If you can give them something to show them that there's there's a path and then you can send them down the path but they're not gonna you have to have more than just I think she paid somebody to, to kill me you have to have something a little more concrete if you have a witness that says yeah it was me this Tara paid me this much money to have him killed and I you know I contacted Jeremy Watts and told him to beat him up or whatever you know if you have that kind of stuff you need to take it to the sheriff's office absolutely take it to the sheriff's office but I can't, I can't charge Jeremy Watts because I can't prove beyond a reasonable doubt that he was doing something other than acting in self-defense because I got three witnesses. Well, he say, wasn't, and every, he, Kevin Barrett and everyone said he was not that good. Anymore. So I didn't think he would do nothing. I would have done something with it. He would have been arrested that night. Who's Kevin Barrett? Contractor here, the one that does construction work here all over town. How is he involved? He, he's not. He would do, He just asked me about the case. How it was going? How come nothing's gotten done? Which a lot, a couple of the policemen in Zanesville did too, because I wonder why they didn't go to Zanesville because we live in Fraserburg. Well, you must live in Catoctin County then. Oh, we live in the Stephen County, Fraserburg, Ohio. So did this happen in Catoctin County? Fraserburg. Did this happen in Catoctin County? No. Well, the sheriff's office responded to your residence. My guess is it must be in Coshocton County. My address is 18361 County Road 80, Fraysburg, Ohio, 43822. Uh, that doesn't tell me. I mean, there's Fraysburg in Coshocton County. Address is in Coshocton County. I, I'm assuming that if our office, our sheriff's office, is the one that responded, then it must be in Coshocton County. Oh, the fire department and everything comes from Fraysburg. Well, that may be true, but as far as because they can potentially... They can cross county lines because it's Fraysburg, but the Shopping County Sheriff's Office cannot cross county lines. So he almost killed me, and, and there's nothing you can do. I cannot take charge because of what caused Tara lied and said I had a gun. Well, I, I don't know if she lied, but because she said that, it made people believe that you were carrying a weapon, and some of the other things you know, she said you threatened to burn her mom's house down with her in it and and you seen the police report sat there and said i did not do it i showed him the phone bill yeah but she made those folks believe that and you came on the, their property and they believed that their life was in danger so that's a that's pretty much a textbook self-defense argument i don't care i still want to go to court i let the jury decide well we haven't there are no charges pending so there is no jury the first step is to to but I can't prosecute a case that I don't believe there's sufficient evidence. I'm not going to take, I can't take charges just because you want me to. There's already charges filed, felonious assault charges. No. 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 I got the police report. You may have the police report, but that doesn't mean charges were filed. That just means that there was a report done by the Shotton County Sheriff's Office. There were never any charges filed. It was referred to the county prosecutor's office. So Cody Fisher didn't file charges? No. He referred it. Because it was referred initially as a felony. Sheriff's Department doesn't file charges in felony cases. The prosecutor's office files charges in felony cases. They reviewed Cody's report and they declined to take charges. They felt there was insufficient evidence to take charges. They referred it up here to see if we wanted to take it as a misdemeanor and we are also declining to take charges. That's kind of how the process works. Okay? Thank you. Thank you.